Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Rob from Panther and today I'm going to show you how to create this interesting uh, hexagon, polygon or whatever you call it in Adobe Illustrator. But before we do that, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get daily updates. Okay, first thing, we're going to go down, just select the stroke, make this disappear, the field disappear, click, click here on none. If you have uh, some colors there, you just click none and you just switch to this one. Now let's select the polygon tool. Press and hold shift, create your first polygon. Press shift and rotate the polygon. Now we're gonna unite it so we don't, we won't be able to modify it. I mean that much, well, we still can. So the main idea is, first we need to find the center point of this. So we're gonna know where to draw the lines. 3d uh so basically i'm gonna select the pen tool and i'm gonna go here 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 you know to create an x so this way i know where is the center point i'm gonna press ctrl r plus r so you can see the ruler here this basically creates the grid lines and now i'm gonna press and hold this and just drag it and as you can see the first grid line is dropping so we're gonna pull it right where they intersect in the center and uh, same thing with this now we know where it is i'm gonna delete these this x i'm gonna add some stroke or thickness okay i'm gonna press a or select the direct selection tool select this anchor point and press ctrl c and ctrl f so now we did a new copy of this one. I'm gonna press and hold all and then shift. You're gonna create a new copy. Select them both, go to object, blend, and then make. Okay, from here we go to the blend tool, double click on there, click previews and select specified steps, increase the number of the um, copies somewhere around for me like nine is good i'm going to double click on this line and select this line only and from here we're gonna go and place it here should i just flip it like this no that doesn't work that way so this is the weird stuff with this uh, but don't worry about it. I'm just gonna release it and I'm gonna place it here. If you don't know how to place it like perfectly there, right now it's placed perfectly, of course. Then select them both and go here to the align, or of course you can see it right here also. Select this, the vertical align top. Whoa. Wait a sec, I did do something wrong. Actually, I didn't do something wrong. It should work now. Uh, I don't know what the heck. Anyways, it's just playing games right now where I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Anyways. Uh, let me go back. Dude, I'm confused. I'm confused that it's in this moment. Okay. Yeah, it's aligned to artboard. I, you know, aligned to selection, and it now aligned perfectly to selection. From here, I'm gonna select the direct selection tool. Go here, select direct selection tool, select this anchor point, press shift, press, uh, press and hold shift, and centralize it like right where they intersect. Put it in the center. All right, so this one is perfect. I'm gonna press and hold Alt and make a copy. Uh, now we need to place this correctly. So what I'm gonna do is go to the, let me press, let me press R, the rotate. You can see the rotate tool right here, or press R basically. And we're gonna double click on the tool and 15% it should be good basically that's the right number for me 
Uh, for you, it should be the same thing. Okay, and now we're gonna place it right here in the center. I mean, where they fit. And press O. This is the reflect tool, the O. The R was the rotate, the O is the reflect. We're gonna select that, press and hold Alt, and go right in the center point, where, you know, on the tangle point, and click on it. Select horizontal and press copy. And as you can see, we have this perfect abstract hexagon shape. All right, uh, I think I can remove the other hexagon. I mean, whatever, I can increase the stroke also to be more interesting, look more interesting anyways. So if you want to make a pattern out of it, you can make a pattern out of it. I'm going to group these, go to object, pattern, make. Here we go. And we're going to go from grid to brick by row. From here, we're going to go to the height, decrease the height of it. Somewhere around here. Let me see with this. Nah, this is not good. So I'm going to go to 80. No, 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 no. This is good. Okay, I got to click. What? Interesting. It, here it lifts some, uh, going to lift some gap. Anyways, I got to click OK. I mean, done right up here. Create another shape. Of course, press Shift plus X so it inverts from uh, stroke to fill. Press and hold Shift. Create your square and go to the swatches and select your pattern. It's gonna appear here somewhere. And yeah, this is how you create it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day. Bye-bye.